hello guys here is my tick torch i am using 12 number ceramic nozzle and here is my job even uh, here is my welding machine i set power 87 ampere and here is my filler wire calling kuni and 2 mm thickness and this one all this one also calling uh, copper nickel and this material have a two name copper nickel and kuni and here is my job which one i am removing masking tape because uh, this is patching job that's why we are uh, apply that uh, masking tape because holding gas inside the pipe and uh, if we are not putting that uh, tape and then leaking gas that's why we are holding gas inside and uh, that's why we are using even this is very similar like a sternal seal procedure if you did before sternal seal welding then also you can weld a copper nickel that is not difficult have a two or three trick if you follow that one then you can weld and that one is very light metal if you holding torch like uh, 5 to 10 seconds that one uh, I think puncture or getting high penetration inside so that's why not holding that much torch just holding normally when it is heating then you giving slowly slowly filler and then I hope it will go inside the root so it's not a big deal it is a very normal so uh, it's easy value, not difficult. So copper nickel always have a like a water line. Also this one has a water line. This job I have a, in the ship because this moment I am working in Norway in shipyard and this job I have a, in, installed in the ship. So I don't know which kind of work in this line, but I know this one is for water line. So copper nickel is uh, even when you weld uh, this one uh, getting fully black so like a burning but after that uh, is the cleaning that one getting very good shine like a radish like uh, which one normally people knows about a copper is a have a rag, red tone so this one also I hope is a pinking uh, pinkish red or what is calling pinkish red like a. so stay tuned continue so this side almost finish then I start another side so if I you like my videos and my tutorial about welding please subscribe my channel and like my videos then I appreciate that things enjoy this video So have one thing when uh, you take off uh, your torch on last point you take off slowly slowly reduce power then you take off if you take off suddenly then get a pinhole so that's a problem also these things normally you get so capping is very good so you have a like a black when are uh, you clean getting very good shining so copper is very light matter that's why heating is very easy even getting cold is very easy so I start another side bottom to top continuously so let's start so
so almost finished so also I told before one thing when now you take off your torch on bottom end point you can reduce power slowly slowly then you take off torch if I you not doing like this getting pinhole so you see that's why I hold torch top off so let's check welding how I weld that welding is very good this a little bit black but when are you clean getting very good shiny yeah it is very good capping and now is uh, after that I clean this van also I did this one welding after and this one also I did so let's check inside welding outside is very good gapping is no have a problem is a perfect gapping look here that's good and you see here is a now is a like a reddish like a pinkish so this is the real color for copper then you get a clean getting very good shine and here is the inside the root which one I did before and you see here root is very good because of you are feeling gas inside and uh, same like cast on steel procedure let's check yeah super is very good this one I do after morning and very good root no have even single problem and here have total is a six joint which this one I did before yesterday this one also root very good and uh, since I check super so please like my video thank you very much